Dreams are now crushed after one of the greatest baseball tournaments announced a vaccine mandate for players 12 years and older. Fox 46's Morgan Francis is live in Charlotte with the impact it's having on families all around the country. Morgan. Yeah, Lindsay, if your kid plays baseball, you've likely heard of Cooperstown Dreams Park in New York. It's kind of a rite of passage to play there. But parents are furious tonight over a decision they say came way out of left field that is crushing dreams rather than making them come true. If you build it, they will come. It's especially true for this sleepy village of roughly 2,000 in Cooperstown, New York. My friends that have been, they said it's a lifetime experience. Every year, it transforms into a baseball mecca, playing host to thousands of youth baseball players. It is a big deal to kids, especially 12-year-olds, because it's the last year they can participate. On its website, the organization claims it's the greatest tournament in America. But this year, parents are crying foul, saying Cooperstown Dreams Park is changing the rules in the middle of the game. This is going to crush hundreds of kids' dreams. The tournament announced all participants 12 years old and older must have their COVID-19 vaccine. The only problem? The FDA hasn't approved it yet for that age group. If there is no vaccination for a 12-year-old at this time, why put that stipulation out? Online, parents and coaches say they're disappointed, calling the decision pathetic and threatening legal action for deposits they say aren't refundable. From what I understand, that each team had to pay $4,000. And those are the first two deposits that were due, and they're non-refundable. Cooperstown Dreams Park stated anyone 11 years old and younger only needs a negative COVID test to participate. But if the vaccine isn't available for 12-year-olds, they're out of luck. This is a lifetime experience. This is never going to happen for him again. Even though the park is located in New York, the address is listed as in Salisbury. I called them twice today, left a message, but still haven't heard back. We still want to know if these teams are going to get a refund or not. Reporting live in South Charlotte, I'm Morgan Francis, Fox 46.